do one more video. Chocobo Racing. Is this game... I kind of feel like I cheated you guys because I didn't use anybody but Chocobo. I didn't use any of the other characters or any of the abilities. So I guess we'll ju I'll just show you real quick who those characters are. But first, I've got to put my uh, memory card in. I have a uh, memory card here that has my final Chocobo Racing save with all the things unlocked. So we'll go ahead and use that. And I think that means I have to reconfigure my control thing. Control setup. That's what I was talking about. So, hop into the options screen here. Now that I'm on a new game save. Uh, accelerator, brake, magic, ability, reverse. That's fine. Alright. So, there is a kind of cool game mode that lets you showcase all the different characters. That's this relay race. This is fun because it lets you use three characters in each race, so I can show everybody off pretty quickly. Um, it's going to be player one versus the computer. Uh, I don't really care who I'm racing against. So we use Chocobo a lot. So let's just kind of go down the list here. We'll start out by using uh, we'll put Bahamut in the front, and then we'll do Chubby Chocobo, and Behemoth. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's a good thing. And here are all their abilities. Like I said, though, none of the abilities are quite like Dash. Have I explained what all these do? Because I don't really want to use anything but Dash. I'm just going to go ahead and give everybody Dash. Yes, that's fine. It's funny because their team has Squall in the third slot, but... <laughs> yeah. There's not going to be enough time in that one lap to use Gunblade. So now you can pick your course here. Let's, uh... This course is really boring, so what we'll do... The Moogle Forest was at least... Well, at least slightly interesting. So we'll do one lap with each character here. Bahamut, of course, does not have anything to race in. He just flies around his wings. Because that's how awesome he is. And he doesn't have to worry about... Because he's flying, he doesn't worry about bad terrain. He can just zip straight over the grass and does not matter. Oh, I better pick up something to use against White Mage here. Oh, I'm dashing. It's fine. Now, when you come up at the end of a lap in Relay Race, your next racer will be waiting for you. There's my P1, and you want to hit them right in the butt, and they get a boost. An automatic boost for no reason other than you are awesome. Chubby Chocobo is heavy and kind of hard to handle, so I don't like it very much. I don't know what benefit heavy characters have in this game, because why would you use them ever? He's got a, a much, much lower top speed than Chocobo, you can see. He only tops out at, like, just barely, almost 80 miles an hour. Maybe, on a straightaway, maybe 80 miles an hour. Which is not good. Oh, that wasn't fair. Uh, Behemoth is kind of the same way. In fact, it feels like he controls exactly the same as Chubby Chocobo does. His turning is very slightly better than Chocobo's, what I'm used to. I'm going to make you spin out, Squall. Sorry, but you got to go. Squall does not have enough time to work up a Gunblade in one lap, so sucks to be him. <laughs> That's right, I just knocked you out. I don't even care. Go away, Squall. So those are those three characters. Let's see who else do we have on the agenda here. Did you know this was an agenda? I did. It is. So let's see, uh, this time we're going to use Golem, and we'll just go around this corner here. Squall in the Tempest, which was only seen in one cutscene of Final Fantasy VIII that I'm aware of. And I'm going to give them all dash again. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go in the Black Manor. I, I like this track. I'm sorry, it's very, I think it's very cool. It's very creepy. I like the effects. I like all the pictures on the wall. There's actually a lot of cool things to look at, which you don't really see when you're just flying through the track racing, but if you take your time to explore the track a little bit, there's some cool stuff in it. Alright, so we have Golem, who is uh, probably a really bad choice for this section of track, coming around this giant curly queue here, but yeah, again, he's a big fat guy. I do like him a little better than Chubby Chocobo or Behemoth. 
I don't know why. I can't really articulate what the difference is between them. Oh, that sucked! Run a little zigzag section here. But yeah, I, I, he does feel a little better to me than the other two do. In kart racing games, I do like to stick to kind of like the mid-range characters. Uh, the ones who are not so light that they crash every time they try to do anything. But the ones who are not so heavy that, you know, if they touch grass... Oh, I missed my guy. That sucked. Squall's turning is very, very slippy. I have never gotten used to it. It's like... It, he's really fast. I mean, on a straightaway, he can close in on 100 miles per hour, but... His turning is very slippy, and I think it has to do with his actual sprite animation. It's like... His car turns a lot farther than you think he actually is turning. Does that make sense? Like, the angle of his car is a lot steeper than where he's actually moving to, and it always throws me off. That probably won't hit her because she's got a barrier up. Oh, good. I'm doomed. Black Mage is very easy to control, and again, he's a flying character. Oh, man, I thought that Reflect was going to eat that Doom, but it didn't. I guess... At least it didn't lose my Reflect when I crashed, but... I also like the little put, 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 put sound that his cloud makes. So if I had to use a flying character, Black Mage is probably the one that I would use. And this is his home turf, so it works for me, too. Let's go ahead and get Lazara here going. And that's that. Those are those three characters. Black Mage is someone I could actually see using in, like, a real race. But I just like Chocobo better. So who does that leave? Uh, oh, it leaves Butthead here. We'll use him. And uh, Goblin in the Gob Cart. And then White Mage. And they're all gonna get Dash, because Dash is so broken. Dash is far and away the best ability in the game. Um, I better not do anything crazy. I better do a, an easy track, because I think Goblin is a terrible character. I, I, I remember not liking Goblin at all. And Moogle. I don't like Mog either. Oh my goodness. And Mog, I think, is the smallest character. So, he's... It's easy to get him, like, really close to walls and things, but... His drift going around turns feels very wide. Which means anytime I try to turn and grab an item, I usually miss an item, like I did at the very beginning of this track. But then I can't correct for it, I can't overcompensate for it, because that's just as bad. Okay, now I've got Goblin, and Goblin has the same problem with his cart that Squall does, in that it looks like he's turning a lot sharper than he actually is. My goodness. See, I just don't like him at all. He's hard to use. Maybe you like him. I don't know. It is, that's kind of almost kind of a Flintstone mobile look to his little cart, but I don't know. Why did I use Doom on Chubby Chocobo? He's going to use Doom back on me. I'll Doom him twice. I don't care. Oh, I missed my... Boost. Oh well. White Mage, I think she's pretty much identical to Black Mage. I really do. Uh, but both of them are quite slow compared to other characters. Unless you give them something like Dash, or unless you grab haste spells and things. I think that's their drawback. Is First of all, they could ignore the ice spells altogether. All the blizzard spells, they can just coast right over them. And then second of all, they can just coast over like grass here. They don't lose any speed at all going over grass. That race was not a challenge. I'm glad I picked an easy track, though, because I lose, I tend to lose control with Goblin. Like, I'll turn too much too sharp, and then I'll try to overcompensate and turn too sharp in the other direction and crash into a wall. Alright, well, that's all the characters. So... That's not all the characters. Okay, so what you do is you put your cursor on Squall. And then you can use the L and R buttons to get more characters! Oh my goodness, there are so many of them! Actually, every time you finish the story mode, it unlocks another character, so there are a ton of them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put Sid's tank, because, ah yeah, Sid is playable. He's my boy. 
And uh, Amumba will be number two. You remember Amumbas from Final Fantasy VIII? Probably not, because they didn't ever come back. And then Aya from Parasite Eve is a playable character in this game. Kind of. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what they're doing. And uh, let's go to the mines. Yeah. Three laps. So the secret characters are crazy. Like, their parameters are crazy. Like, they're just way, way out in left field. So Sid gets this cool little tank. And kind of slow, but pretty good traction. Like, very, very easy to steer. You almost don't even need your drift button going around turns. But again, somebody overtakes you, and there's not much you can do about it to catch back up. So, I'm going to cheat by taking... Oh, he took the shortcut! I didn't know the computer could do that! Man! That is balls. Uh, go, Moomba! The Moomba does not even get a car. He just has to hoof it. The Moomba is pretty is like pretty fast, but loses a lot of speed going around turns. So, in a really curvy track like this, it's pretty bad news. And then I guess he's not that fast when it comes right down to it. As long as you can stay off the walls for a long time and not have to turn, he can reach a pretty good top speed. And then we've got Aya, who drives a police car. <laughs> I guess they were thinking, okay, what other Squaresoft games have come out in the past couple years that we can stick in Chocobo Racing? What about Aya? Hmm, well, Aya, kind of from a dark, moody game, not really conducive to a kart racer, so... Stick her to police car. That's fine. And she kind of controls very similar to Sid's tank a little bit, but a little bit faster. So... Not that I would use Aya ever in an actual race. That would be just terrible, but... <laughs> uh, who else do we have? Lots of people to go. Ooh, lots of them. Okay. And what I'm doing here is using different combinations of the L button. Like, L1 gives you Sid's tank, L2 gives you Mumba, and then both L buttons together gives you Aya. So now we're going to do R1, which is Cloud. And we'll do R2, which is a Cactuar. And then both R buttons together gives us a classic Chocobo. Nice. You know what? Let's throw caution to the wind. Let's do Fantasia. I think I can hack Fantasia with these characters. I think I can do it. My headset's slipping off my face here. Okay. And of course, none of the secret characters have moves of their own. They just have to use dash, because that's the only one we're using. Cloud's turning, if I recall... Well, it actually doesn't feel that bad. Cloud is a solid character. He's pretty fast. Um, he controls really nicely. And he's a little smaller than most characters are. Not Maybe not smaller, but definitely a little narrower, so he can slide through gaps and get around corners and things that other characters might... Did I just drop my blizzard on the shortcut? That was the dumbest thing ever. What? Brick Road, my... Jeez. So yeah, Cloud is a, he's a totally solid character. He's one of the uh, secret characters that I would actually use in a real race if I was given the option. I kind of think that Cloud just should have been a fully-fledged character with his own ability, kind of like uh, Squall is. Although I don't know what special ability you give him. Oh man, I missed my, uh... thing. So now we've got Cactuar. Cactuar is... <laughs> extremely freaking slow. Like, look at this mess. But he turns on a dime. You do not need to drift at all with Cactuar. And then if you use haste or dash or something, he gets really, really fast. But oh my goodness, he becomes super hard to control. I'm, there's no way I'm going to win this race now, because... <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. Um, you couldn't, you, you really can't win a race with Cactuar, because he's so slow. 
and even with dash, it's not. I, I did. I dropped Blizzard right on the shortcut. That was retarded. Why would I do that? Okay. Um, if there was some way to keep him in a constant state of dashing, that would be useful. But as far as I know, there is no way to do that. Am I even going to get to the third character before I lose the race? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I've still got a ways to go on this lap. So yeah, uh, Kektar, kind of just a silly gimmick character. Not someone you could actually win a race with or whatever want to use for any reason, ever. I'm tired of talking about Cactuar. Let's get to my third character here. Oh, I missed again. And it's classic 8-bit Chocobo, yeah! Oh! Yeah, I know I'm going in reverse. It's because he hit me with Blizzaga. Um, Chocobo here is kind of similar to the regular Chocobo, except a lot slippier with the turns. Still, though, someone you could actually use, you know. There's no way in hell that I'm going to catch up to win this race, but... Yeah, in fact, I'm about to lose it here in just a second. Right now. But okay, 8-bit Chocobo. I think that's the Chocobo from Final Fantasy III, actually. Because it was white and not yellow in that game. Which is kind of sacrilegious nowadays. Um... So that was our buttons. So now we've got L1 plus R1 gives us the SS Invincible word. And then L2 plus R2 gives us uh, Jack, whoever Jack is. And that's it. Those are, that, there's no more characters, so I'm just going to finish it up with a good old Chocobo, I guess. Oh, i got to pick the computer players. I don't want to do that. I don't really care. I should have given them flap to be useless, but... Um, I better do this on the test track, because... <laughs> you will see. Both of these characters are unplayable in a normal game. First we have the SS Invincible, which is the airship from Final Fantasy III. And its top speed is absolutely stupid. This thing is impossible to control because it's flying around at 180 miles per hour. My goodness gracious me. Dash actually makes it slower. Okay, but then you have Jack here, who is super slow when he's running forward. But when he goes in reverse, he's a lot faster for some reason. Like, still not that fast, still pretty slow, but <laughs> he runs faster. That's why Dash is a bad is a bad thing for Jack, because in order to use Dash properly, you've actually got to turn him around. And, uh, yeah. So, that's Jack. He's an absolute joke character. You can't win a race like this. Look at this crap. He's actually from an, a, a game called 3D World Runner on the NES. Um, a game which I own and which I played, but which is not very good. It is notable for being an NES game which actually came with 3D glasses. It had a 3D mode to it. It's just a very bizarre game where you're running through this kind of... 3D world, and very impressive looking graphics for an NES game, or I guess a Famicom game. Well, no, it was on an NES. I own the cartridge for it. So, yeah, but there's no way that I could salvage that, because Jack is just such a horrible character. Oh, we lost. But that's the re relay rate race mode. It's pretty cool. There's also just a ran regular uh, Grand Prix mode, if you're into that, just kind of a, I want to race with anybody. And there's, of course, the Versus mode, if you have friends. I don't have friends, I just have YouTube subscribers, and I thank you all very much for watching Let's Play Chocobo Racing. I'm Brick Road. I'm gonna eat my sandwich now.